Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl, but also the Arrowverse as a whole. We're going to be talking about lots of interesting things today. We've got official confirmation of a major Supergirl character leaving, and also we've got the opening for Crisis. We know how it's going to open, and also we've got some new Crisis major news. So, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, I would say the biggest piece of news, Supergirl Season 5 will see the last episode of James Olsen, because McCart Brooks is leaving the show, and so he's going to be in the first part of the season, the first half, and then he's going to be gone and obviously there is a way for him to come back the showrunners have said that in a statement and they are sad to see James go but it's mainly due to McCard actually wanting to do different things he's working on some feature films he's also working on a cable TV show in America and so he's focusing on different stuff he's been on Supergirl obviously for you know five years right now it's going on to be so yeah he's going to be in the first part of the season he'll be here and this also comes along with obviously the news yesterday that we covered that Wynn is returning that Jeremy Jordan is back so that's super exciting but this is sad news because you know James has been here since the start and I really like James and I know a lot of you guys and a lot of people online haven't been the biggest fan of him because simply there hasn't been too much for him to do but I've always liked him and I'm sad to see this happen because, you know, he's been here right since the very start. He is, you know, Superman's best friend. And it's a different version from the comics, you know, the ginger version. He was all quirky and sort of weird. And I really love his adaptation of Jimmy Olsen. But James Olsen, obviously, on the TV show is what we call him. So sad to see him go, but at least he's you know, leaving on his own accord rather than being kicked off the show, say, because that wouldn't be very cool, in my opinion. Okay, so that is the massive news to do with Supergirl. Now, let's move on to Crisis. The opening scene of Crisis has been revealed by Mark Guggenheim, the executive producer. He's been very kind of vocal, actually, about Crisis and what they're going to be doing because, you know, he's sort of spearheading the whole crossover. So this is what he said and he's at Comic Con right now, which I'm at. Actually, tomorrow, I'm going to be interviewing the whole Supergirl cast, one by one at the round tables. I'm going to be talking to Melissa and the whole cast. I cannot wait. I'm super nervous as well, but I'm very, very excited because, you know, it's one of my favorite shows. But anyway, so Mark Guggenheim, he's at Comic Con right now. He's going to do some of the panels. I believe he may do Arrow. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to be at all those panels tomorrow, so maybe we'll get some more reveals there. But what he says is, basically, we're going to begin, and this is an exclusive, we're going to begin the way Crisis on Infinite Earths, the comic, begins, which is the destruction of various parallel universes, and the goal is for us to adapt key moments from the comic, those seminal moments is what they are focusing on at different parts in this crossover okay so the crossover is five episodes as you will know by now it's going to be you know split into two halves you got the first three in december of 2019 you got the rest and it's been confirmed yes one of those episodes will be legends of tomorrow it will be episode one of legends of tomorrow for next season and that's in 2020 in january sometime when you know all the shows come back from their breaks so what he reveals here is is going to start the same way crisis does in the comics which is the destruction of multiple parallel universes as he says and obviously if you've read it you know this is true so what we've got confirmed right now is we're going to see many versions of different earths and this is the way it's going to open you're going to see the destruction and all that the anti-monitor has caused so yeah you can tell the anti-monitor does arrive right at the start of the crossover don't know if we see him or not but he's obviously built up to that and then the opening of crisis the crossover is those destruction of many other earths and then somehow probably via the monitor the team you know our superheroes are noted that yeah the anti-monitor is destroying all these different earths 
you know, the whole multiverse needs your help. And so this is also another quote from Mark Guggenheim. So in fact, yesterday I pitched the network what the story was going to be. And the best part of the pitch, we have a board that DC made up for me, which is covers from key issues on Crisis on Infinite Earths. And we're like, we're going to do our version of this. We're going to do our version of this. We're going to do our version of this and so on. So our goal is the same thing we've been saying and it is we're going to make a list of you know at least 100 cool things that we want to do and even if we only get to do 50 we're going to still do 50 things. So he's talking about just you know the nostalgic moments if you've read Crisis those key moments you're probably going to see an iteration of it but they're going to do their own thing about it their own version as Mark teased in this interview so it's super exciting we know how crisis is gonna start and you know I just can't wait and all the other shows are you know leading up to this leading up to the crossover are going to be heavily to do with the build-up to crisis so I expect a lot more before then and I expect a lot from the panels tomorrow actually from when I'm recording this video I'll be at all the panels so don't worry about that Videos will come out actually the next day, but when I get back in the evening, because I'm currently in San Diego, it's Pacific time, so it's like, when I get back it'll be like, I don't know, 3 in the morning in the UK, or 4 in the morning, or something like that. So, they'll all come out the next day, normal time, around 6pm, then probably, you know, how many trailers, it depends, I'm gonna do The Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, and... Yeah, maybe Batwoman, I'm not sure. Whatever I get time for, it's all going to be up the next day about 6pm UK time, not Pacific time. Okay, so moving on to the next thing, we've got the official news that Brandon Ralph is going to be returning as Superman, and also Tyler Hoechlin is returning as Superman, both in the Crisis crossover. So this is crazy, we've got two versions of Superman. I've been rooting for this the whole time, if you've watch some of my crisis videos over the past you know how however many months since they announced crisis you know all the way back since elseworlds i've been saying you have to have these alternate versions of these characters you must because if you read crisis there is so many alternate versions because we're dealing with the multiverse right here you can't just have our main heroes so this is a massive thing in the comics there is two supermen in the actual Crisis comic book and yeah it's just super exciting to see that we have these two versions and they are sort of following the comics in some sort of way obviously we're not gonna have Wonder Woman who plays a big role for one of the versions of Superman and so yeah look forward to that that's gonna be crazy I reckon maybe we'll get another version of Supergirl so probably Power Girl or something like that but Mark Guggenheim recently teased this new costume and it's not for Green Arrow he's confirmed that I reckon there's going to be a different version of Green Arrow from the multiverse it could be the Smallville version of himself but yeah for now we've got confirmation yeah they are doing the multiverse they're bringing back these sort of legacy characters with Brandon Ralph returning to play Superman because he plays Superman in Superman Returns back in the 90s so that's very exciting. We saw John Wesley Ship return as the Flash as Barry Allen from his original Flash show. So, you know, they've done this many times before. So it's very exciting. And also, Tyler is back, you know, our CW version of Superman. He is our main version. And I reckon instead of Supergirl dying, I think a version of Superman is going to die. I think it's going to be Brandon Ralph's version due to the fact that he's showing up, you know, he's not going to be able to play that character all the time. It's just sort of a crossover thing. And so, also, I think that with this happening, he's going to play two characters. He's going to play the Atom, and I think at one point he may meet, but this version of Superman will definitely meet Supergirl for sure, in my opinion. And so people have been asking online, you know, does this mean that Supergirl is getting no screen time? But... It's been confirmed she's pivotal to the crossover and this doesn't really affect her in any way so don't worry about that she's gonna have a massive part so that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year 
and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.